I always loved art, going to museums and stuff as a kid. I don't know if I really knew why I liked art, um, but when I went to museums and stuff, I got to see these huge paintings and they were important. My mom used to um, buy prints of famous pieces and put them all over the house. <laughs> and, um, and we would just stare at them all day sometimes. We had an Escher print, um, which I loved. And I had no idea it was a woodcut. When I got into printmaking, I didn't even know what it was. I was trying to uh, make a stamp to create a soap making business. And I was gonna stamp a label onto the soap. I never got around to making the soap because once I discovered the woodcut and printmaking, I, <laughs> I had found my thing. When I was trying to make the label, my dad had given me some tools that we had used when I was a little kid with woodworking. And I remember carving into this little piece of wood that I had and there was a giant knot in the middle of it and I had not seen it because I wasn't trained. I was pretty determined to learn what I was doing. Uh, it was so much fun that I, I, I needed to know what it was. I discovered linoleum sometime after that and I found out that it's actually a lot easier to carve into than wood. Linoleum is a lot easier on my wrists and my arms when I'm carving. Printmaking opened up something inside of me that I hadn't seen in a very long time. And I really fell in love with it. <laughs> there are a lot of different types of printmaking, but what I specialize in is lino kit. The process is very different than painting. In a painting, you can add some paint onto a canvas if you make a mistake. If you make a mistake in printmaking initially, then your entire print is ruined. You have to design and plan out your prints. One of my favorite parts of the whole process is after all the hard work and all the technical stuff that you have to do is when you get to lift off the print from the inked linoleum. I work in mostly black ink and the high contrast is really, really, really beautiful. And it usually takes me by surprise on how striking it looks. In the process of lino cut, you start with the drawing, you transfer it onto your linoleum, you carve it, and you ink it, and then you apply pressure. A few years ago, I decided to take my art more seriously, and I started joining art walks where I get to sell my prints. Uh, I got to meet a lot of really great artists, and they all knew what printmaking was. I live in an area where there are no art walks, and so that's why I had no real understanding of what I was doing initially. By expanding my world and meeting other artists, it changed the way I thought about art and me as an artist. I own a website called marysconfrary.com where I provide tutorials about printmaking and art. My name is Mary Vasquez and I'm a printmaker and an artist.